What's up guys? We are on about the third day brush cutting. We're getting quite a bit done. And just sharpening the blade up a little bit. It's like a chainsaw. Then we're going to get busy. I didn't film anything yesterday. But got quite a bit cut down. Been watching my other channel. Walking's been going good. Walked a mile this morning. Alright, go check it out. Alright. Well, Miss Millie and Libby been become pretty good friends. They're usually laying together. Yeah, getting some sun, but I just walked towards Millie a little bit. She took off, but she's coming closer to me. Yeah, she slept right by the house last night, and a coyote or something came in. She went chasing after it, barking. That's the first time I've heard her bark, so she's getting better. Olivia, you didn't even come out of your doghouse.
All right, we're making some progress. What I'm going to focus on today is right in here and try to get back in here and get that tall stuff cut down. Just right here in the front. We're still going to get more of that. But, uh, you know, got to do it a few, you know, a few, little bit at a time. It is a very tiring job. But we're going to get done what we can. I'm going to get this tall stuff down and stick around the end of the video. We'll go up on the deck or just go back a little bit and see what kind of difference it made. All right, man. I'm going to get busy on this stuff. the back deck as you can see we're starting to get a better view but if you look right there see that tall one that I got to get down as well as those two red ones there orange whatever dark dark brown the tall ones man you know what I'm saying and as well as that one now my goal is to eventually get back there further and cut those cedar trees down and i'll probably leave those oak trees they're fine and just cut them cedar trees down they're ugly anyway look like they've been hit by lightning or something so and that oak tree there next to that dead pine that's that's his days are limited i'm going to take him down as well plus this tree it's dead it died this year but man it's going to be a nice view like i said it goes down slope but I still want to work on this this a little more and this is going to be a, an all-winter project uh, I want one good summer where I don't have big crappy looking privet and stuff in the way you know have a nice view and my dream is one day right there in that corner to build a little one-room cabin yeah that's what I plan to do and that would be an awesome view to have the porch facing that way you come out and have your coffee, sit there, but not with all that garbage in the way. And uh, I have knocked down quite a bit all over. Like I say, I'm, this will probably be the last video I'll show you guys of me cutting this stuff down. I know it's probably not too interesting, but it's part of the process, man, of clearing the land. And, uh, and at some point this winter, I got to work on that dude and get this whole junk all this junk out of here get this whole back area nice and clean that's going to be a job right there shouldn't be too bad uh if i could get uh russell to take that lumber uh you know uh once we can burn again i can get rid of a lot of this stuff real quick and this stuff over the next few weeks will shrivel down to just dried sticks and very easy to dig out of there put in that burn pile and burn uh, we got to get the burn band lifted first so right now i'm gonna go shoot for that i've been taking a little break i'm gonna go shoot get that tall stuff down right in there and then that tall stuff at least that i gotta work my way to that that's pretty thick i may have to get the chainsaw out and cut that thing i've already cut part of it uh same as that big one down there it it needs to have a chainsaw so those things are not they're they're what do you call them uh, well they're trouble trees they're junk trees don't know what they are but they're not uh, they're not the trees you need all right man I'm gonna get back to work
All right, we got that bunch down. And uh, after this, I'm gonna call it quits on this. It's very physically demanding. Let's go up here to the deck. Uh, you'll remember the last view of it. What I say, guys, I'm gonna do a little bit a day. Now, swinging that big old heavy thing around is pretty hard. Got my blood pressure pumping. All right, but that certainly looks better. And uh, that stuff's all cut. There's just so many of those vines in there, that thistle stuff. It's just holding it after you cut it. So once all that settles in, it'll drop down significantly. Whoo! All right, and tomorrow I'll try to get to that tall stuff. Might bring the electric chainsaw out here. Get after some of that bigger stuff. So right now, I'm gonna make a makeshift doghouse for Millie. Uh, she slept right by the cabin last night and something came through sometime last night. She started after it and barking. So she likes to be close. Uh, wherever I'm at, she ain't far behind. But she just, she won't come up to me yet. She will. And uh, not much I can do with her until then. You know, I can't put a collar on her. I've seen she had a tick on her. Uh, I'm going to get her a next guard. Give her that. She'll eat anything at this point. So she'll have no problem eating that. And uh, I guess she's here to stay. She's not like doing like when Tilly came. She Tilly would eat, hang out a little bit, and take off. And Millie's just staying around. She's going to be a good dog. So we'll let her stay. Uh, I don't have any plans to put her in a yard. I got to watch her. If she doesn't leave the property, she ain't going to get a yard. Uh, she can just be the perimeter dog we'll see how she does all right let's let's go see what we can find make her a little bit better uh, shelter to sleep in at night and i'm going to stop tomorrow and get her a barrel those are great they're warm they're dry they're durable and you stuff them with hay and they love them they're comfortable for the dogs all right what you millie doing you telling millie stories or is she telling you stories how come your ears inside out millie how come I'm gonna come sit. I'm gonna pet on Libby. You wanna come and get some petting? Yeah. Well, come here. Here it's almost. <laughs> She's getting comfortable. What are you doing, Miss Thing? Uh, getting some afternoon sun. Yeah. I'm glad you got a new friend. Yeah. Cause you don't get along with nobody else. But you and her get along. You guys were playing earlier. You need a friend, huh? She can sneak you treats and stuff because she's not, she's loose. She won't run away like you. <laughs> Look at you. You're silly. Yeah, look at her over there. She just, she's as happy as can be because she's got a sister now. And she's got three sisters and a goofy brother. What do you think? Well, you're coming closer. See, I'm not hurting Libby. Come here, sweet girl. Well, what you doing? You're gonna come for head pettings eventually. You know you are. I think you're putting on a little weight. You know, I still see your backbone, but I see that on Libby. She ain't skinny. You do need so it's almost time for your drive or your wet food with the warmer your last day of warming yeah well come here can you come here come on you know she wants to She's very skittish man whoever had her must have beat the hell out of her i wish i could get about five minutes with them most dogs, for the most part, are not skittish unless something bad happened to them. But the good thing about dogs is they can change. Yeah, what's the moaning about? Millie. Millie Milligan, that's your name. I call you Milligan more than Millie. What kind of life have you had? I say you're about... A year and a half, two years old. 
and I'm pretty good at bump guessing puppy dog ages. Yeah, what do you think? You're eight years old. And she's grumble grum, grumble grumping. <laughs> What's wrong, girl? Go see Millie. Go see her. See, your life's lucky. Of course, you were on death row, so you almost weren't lucky. I had to go get you off that. Yeah. We're going to make her a doghouse. All right, Millie. <laughs> well, she's about four feet away from me now. I've been inching my chair closer. She hasn't gotten up and gotten scared. I'm Ellie. Yeah. Give me a week. We'll be petting that head. I'll up. What you doing, girl? Millie Milligan. Still got this one. Alright, I'm giving her this high protein stuff and I've got the wormer right there and I'm going to mix it in. Uh, what did I give her? 20 cc's. I've been doing this to so many dogs I know by heart how much to give them for their weight. This is her third dose. So, and this is, uh, let me show you what I got. Safeguard Goat Warmer. This is how you, this is what most shelters use to warm dogs. This stuff works great. And it's about $25 for a big bottle like that. This will do all my dogs two to three times. And then you just keep it in the refrigerator. All right, let's go give it to her. She's waiting. She's, she's a smart dog. She'll be waiting. All right, let's go into my messy screen patio. Look at that, Millie. <laughs> Look at her. She knows what this bowl means. Here you go, baby. Here's your warmer. I wouldn't tell a normal dog it's warmer. <laughs> oh, you don't have to back up so far. You're getting better. Can you come right up to me and get it? Come on. Come on. You want me back off one? See, now I don't have to back off 10 feet now. Look at this, guys. That's what dog man does. No, no, come on. I'm gonna take a knee right here. You come up and get it. Good girl. See? I'm gonna hurt you. Let's see, she's got... It looks to me like she had... A, somebody shot her with a BB gun on her hip. I'm not sure. She's fine. Looks like I see a fly on her ear. It's okay. Come on back. Come on. I'll back up a bit. Come on. Don't finish it. You gotta get over this. Okay. Come on, it's okay. Come on, I'm not gonna hurt you. Yeah, you know you want the rest of that. Good girl. Good girl. Get as she is. We'll get her over that. Come on. Come on. Millie Milligan. Yeah, you gonna come like that ball one more time? Come on. Here, let's put this down. Put this down. What are you gonna do with that? Petting you in three days. Three days. 
Yeah, I will. Come here. Come here. I can't have a treat every time. She's watching every move I make. Come here. Come on. It's okay. You don't have to be so scared. I want that tail wagon soon. Come on. Come see me. Come see me. Come here. I've tamed worse dogs than you. Grumpy. Yeah, Grumpy, he, he was mean. You're not mean. You're just chicken. You scared of that camera. Well, I bet if I back off, you'll come sniff on it. What is that? What is that camera? You gonna come see it? Yeah? You are a good girl. And this is where she slept last night. And I just took this board because I'm going to get her a barrel tomorrow. And that way it keeps keeps the wind off of her. It's only going to be for one more night. She'll be fine. But uh, she sure looks out for us. She barks. <laughs> All right. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. Give me a like, give me an unlike. I don't care. Happy trails. What are you jumping for? This is the Puppy Cam, Puppy Cam 101. You're goofy. Well, and this video would not be complete without Miss Tilly. That's right, we got Lily, we got Tilly, we got Millie, we got Libby, we got Rooster. How do we get all these stinky girls? Rooster. Yeah, she loves Miss Tilly. When did you come all the way over here for a drink, Tilly? Did we come see Rooster? Come here. She's going back out to her son. And she usually lays out there all day. It's not like she leaves. She's here more than she's anywhere. <laughs>